make this lovely besan wali to make this lovely besan wali mirchi we're going to need half a teaspoon of cumin seeds half a teaspoon of uh, mustard seeds once these begin to popple add one onion finely chopped so i've used about 2 tablespoons of oil and add your green peppers or capsicum or um, big chilies that we call them i've chopped them into smaller pieces and i'm just adding them along with my onion we're going to fry all of this together so on low flame this will take about 10 to 12 minutes to get nicely fried so the way you check it is your onions will turn nice and light brown and your green pepper or capsicum will be absolutely tender now to expedite the process you could add half a teaspoon full of salt so that your onions will release the moisture quickly okay so let this cook for a good 10 to 12 minutes on low flame okay so after about 10 to 12 minutes our uh, green pepper and onion have got uh, nicely cooked the, the green pepper is nice and soft and moist now and the onions have released the moisture as well so i'm now going to add 1 teaspoon full of uh, ginger garlic paste that i have diluted with water Add two tomatoes finely chopped. Okay, give this a nice mix. Now we cover this and let this cook for another ten minutes on medium flame until the tomatoes become absolutely soft and release all the moisture. Okay, I've opened this up and this has begun boiling. As you can see, our tomatoes have got nicely squashed. We've released off all the moisture, and we see a little amount of water. That's the moisture released by our green pepper and the tomatoes. To this, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of red chili powder, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Quarter teaspoon of cumin powder, and quarter teaspoon of garam masala powder. Okay, give all this a mix. And we wait until um, the preparation is absolutely dry. and it releases all the water so we let this cook on medium flame this will take about 3 to 4 minutes now that you see the moisture is almost evaporated and it's kind of dry i'm now going to add Two tablespoons of uh, chickpea flour or gram flour to this. Just sprinkle it on top. Okay. Mix this real good. Okay. Let this cook for another one one and a half minute. Okay. And if there are any big lumps that you can see. Just go mashing it. Awesome, guys! This is done, and you can serve this nice and hot with some plain steamed rice and tarka dal, or Indian flat bread.
lovely. Enjoy.